There are all sorts of different reasons to vote. Maybe you're in school and you're worried about the sheer amount of debt that you're racking up. Maybe you're concerned about being able to get a job once you're out of school. Maybe you're worried about the environment. Maybe you're thinking about health care and what happens when the baby boomers start to need a lot more medical care. Yes, government can be a frustrating thing. And sometimes seems like all of the leaders are just kids in the playground arguing over who gets to stay at the top of the jungle gym. And that's annoying. And it's totally their fault. But it's no reason for you not to vote. You might think that your one vote doesn't make a difference. But again, that's no reason not to vote. In fact, in the last election, one seat was won by only 17 votes. And yes, most news sources say that Stephen Harper is going to end up with the most seats. But that's especially no reason for you not to vote. The thing is, even if Harper wins the most seats, one of two things will happen. He'll either win a minority of the seats, where he'll have to work with the other parties, collaborate, and compromise so that all voices have some input into how our country is run. Or, he'll get a majority, where he can do whatever he wants, regardless of what the other parties say, for four years. Now, there are all kinds of reasons why that's a worrisome thing, and I could make a whole video just dedicated to that. And actually, I did. But for now, all I'm going to say is this. Stephen Harper might get a majority government, when all the polls show that he doesn't have the support of the majority of Canadians. Votes from a little more than a third of the population could lead to a government that can do whatever it wants, whenever it wants, even if nearly two-thirds of the population are against it. And that's not right. So if you don't like what Stephen Harper's been doing, you have to vote. If you don't vote, you're enabling him to get a majority and to have free reign over Canada and over your life. And you know what? If you do like what Stephen Harper's been doing, you have to vote. I may disagree with you on politics, but the more people vote, the more valid the election results are. Here's the thing. If the nearly two-thirds of Canadians who don't support Stephen Harper can use our votes to prevent a majority, we can keep the control of government in all of our hands. We can all have a say in what happens instead of silencing a significant amount of Canadians. And we can send those arguing kids back to their room and say, you don't get to come out of there until you stop fighting and learn to work together. Instead of randomly assigning one kid as king of the castle and telling the other kids and us Canadians to just deal with it. Election day is Monday. Do yourself and Canada a favor and vote. Thanks.